former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan and the number one best-selling author, Pastor Ren Omokri has claimed that he has uncovered plots by the Buhari-led All Progressive Congress APC party to rig the forthcoming governorship election in a do state. He said that Buhari has concluded in extending the tenure of the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, on a condition of rigging the election of a do state. Omokri made a new claim in video via his social media page. According to him, a source from the presidential villa reveals to him that the APC government plans on increasing by five years the tenure of the current chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, whose original tenure is to end this year on October. He said the idea is for the plot to become successful in ensuring that Edo State is delivered to the APC. According to him, he said, I got a call from my source at the presidential villa that there is a plan by the APC administration to circumvent the will of the electorate in Edo State. He said he also found out that the INEC chairman was to ensure that he delivers a do state to the APC. Okay. Uh, Torixos cited a 46-year-old man calling on the Edo state people and all citizens to rally around and ensure that there is democracy in Edo state. Also revealed that the APC planned on using the security agencies to rig the Edo election. Okay. All of them, they are always having a source at the presidential villa. Uh, most of the people will tell you, most of people will always make one one claim or the other. Always talk about uh, having somebody in, in the presidential villa. So those people who are there, does it mean that uh, they are working for the, 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 the government or they are working for the outsiders? Because, you know, from, from the look of things, you just believe that those people are supposed to be loyal to the their principal, to the people who employ them there. You know, releasing information from the Aso Villa or from the presidency is is something that uh, you know it's cause for worry at times. That that is why you see a lot of things do leak because it could happen. But I'm just asking that does it really work that way that you are working for your principal and all the information you get at that particular place because I believe that maybe they are always you know sign whatever maybe sign an agreement or whichever way you might want to put it that as you are here these are the things you are supposed to do these are the things you are not supposed to do because at the end of the day if most of these things are getting to filter out of the presidency then means they will hear and they will know that somebody from their from the presidency will be releasing those information well that is where he said he got his, his source from and maybe if he's being called upon he will be able to explain better how that could be you know of course all of those things that say we are we do here or that himself is claiming to have heard from a reliable source they are not something that are new to the nigerian system or to the nigerian people we know what has been going on when you talk about election in this country it's not something that you just like oh it's going to be free and fair no election has been free and fair since 1999 to date and they don't want it to be to be more responsible and to be free and fair. They don't want it. They don't want it. That is why they don't want to go through this electronic uh, voting. They don't want it. They just want it in a good way whereby people will be running their task. Police will be running after people. People will be running after, after police. People will be hijacking uh, ballot, ballot buses. I don't know when we are going to do that. And you see our politicians or our so-called leaders, they are so sophisticated in the allowances they collect. They are so rich, they are so, how will I put it, they are so enlightened when it comes to their remunerations on how to go about it. They are so sophisticated in that area. But when it comes to the nitty-gritty of the work for the for the country to move forward, oh, that is why they will not be giving you excuses. Oh, we don't have electricity supply or power supply. Oh, a uh, lot of people are inside the bushes, inside the villages. In inside, you know, who are not inside the town, how do you expect them to get all of this? Is how do you expect them to get all these facilities? Is it rocket science? It's not rocket science because the money you guys are using to do to to fend for yourselves is is even more than enough 
to do all of this is but they are not ready to do it they complain about a uh, the power supply that we've not been able to get always asking baba yeah but where is the money where is the light but now since they have come on board does it mean that this government is not has not been making money they will tell you oh the price of crude oil this and this and that and you are the people telling us that uh, you want to diversify this diversification is something they have been talking about and now we've not up to now we've not been able to diversify when we have potentials we have a uh, the manpower in the country how are they going to channel it now they are fighting and quarreling about a 744 a uh, local government that they, they will be employing people from that's almost a 774,000 people will be employed that means in each local government they will be having one one thousand people Tell me, what do they want to do? People are now shouting. Oh, yes, so they want to create job. Oh, some people want to hijack the job. But look at the job itself. What are they going to be doing? They say they're going to be cleaning gutter. They're going to be doing sweeping the streets. Oh, some go into trafficking, uh, you know, uh, control the traffic. Some, you know, and at the end of the day, it's just going to be three months. So tell me whether that is uh, employment in its real sense. We have people, able body, able body that they can really train for better things. To, you know, in terms of technology, what companies are they even putting in place? Uh, they, you know, the ease of doing business, they talk about it, that even the private sector will be able to do it. Even if foreign investors will come in. How many foreign investors have come in since uh, these governments came on board? Because they say they are going to change the analysis. Those were the things. Somebody will come and tell you, oh, uh, tell us that uh, this uh, is a PDP page. If it is PDP, or maybe you think that somebody does not have, or we don't even have the right to criticize, I think you are missing it. This is not a conventional, a conventional uh, platform or TV uh, a platform that uh, you know they are always economical with the truth. They are trying not really, not really economical with the truth. They are always try to be politically correct. There's nothing like politically correct here. We say it the way. We feel it because we are part of the people. Those ones, maybe they are afraid or whatever, but this is a social media platform that you hear your view. Nobody is bound not to speak. We have the right to speak. If you don't, if you expect us to just tell you the news and we don't have our own, how we feel about it, you are making a mistake. This is not a conventional uh, a TV station that they are always trying to be politically right. We say things the way they, they are. Whether PDP, whether APC, we 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 still bring all their thoughts together. So if you belong to one particular uh, uh, political party and you uh, you feel that we talk about your party the way in the way you don't like, sorry, that is your that is your own uh, uh, right to feel that way because we try to see choose our ways. That is your uh, own right uh, to to feel the way you are feeling. Because we talk about all the parties together. We talk about the problems we'll be having. We talk about how all of them coming together have brought us to where we are today. So if you feel offended, I think that is a, that is a, you are, you are not even, you are not, how will I, you are even economical with the truth. You cannot come on this page and tell us that, uh, oh, this is for PDP, for this and this and that. We talk about all of them. But if you feel that, uh, this is not a platform whereby, oh, it is, uh, maybe it is for so uh, one particular group of people you are going to be talking about good of them. We don't have that kind of time here. We talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly that all of these people are involved in. So if things are really working well, we will, be, we will not be where we are. And we don't have business with poverty. We don't have business with all the things that we are going through that we are not happy about in this country. But because the people, the so-called people, who are really leading us. They are not even economical with the truth. They are not doing the right thing. They are just there for themselves. And it's just like a pattern. It's just like a pattern. You talk about the electoral reforms. That is how where they don't even want to get it. It's not as if it's not doable. It's doable. But how will all of this is not continue? Because that's just like we are still saying, coming back to what uh, Reno Omokri has said concerning what he heard from the, from, uh, the presidency that uh, this uh, rigging is going to take place and all of that, according to what he said. But we know that these are the things that have been happening. Even We don't even need anybody to tell you uh, or to give you information about these things. These are the things that we live with every now and then. When election time is coming, it's just like war. All of them will be going to TV stations. They will be telling you different parties. Oh, they will be telling you, oh, yes, it's going to be like this, it's going to be like this. They will just say it. They will even read speeches. It's a lie. In reality, what they say is different from what 
really happens. So, guys, I wouldn't want to talk much. What Reno Mokri is saying is that uh, he's going to be uh, regain, 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 regain. They have made promises to whosoever they want. They have made promises to. Well, that is uh, what we are hearing. But we know that we know what we know in reality, which has been happening before now. Nobody needs a soothsayer to tell us what could be what could could happen because even in the past whether in the pdp time it was you know the pattern has been like that but these people that came with the mantra of change that is where we are having problem that is what we are having problem with you say you are going to change the narratives but the narratives are just getting the things are getting worse compared to what it used to be so that is why people must talk because if you say you are very very clean you must come with open mind you must make sure that you are devoid of all those uh, shenanigans so guys let's hear your Take concerning what a uh, Renault Mokri has said. Leave your comment below and let's have your take.